Last time on Salty Dug Sailing. Not the sound you want to hear. Okay, so after 45 minutes of messing with it, I figured out what the deal was. Um, the starter motor wasn't getting any juice. And so it was, uh, I think it was a contact point to the starter motor. So I cleaned the connections, um, fiddled with the wiring a little bit to make sure everything was nice and tight. And um, that seemed to, uh, to do it. Good morning and welcome to another episode of Salty Doug Sailing. Um, today I actually am going to be working on the engine. So a couple weeks ago wouldn't start again. So I resolved to identify, isolate and correct whatever the issue is. Um, it took me about an hour to get it started after an awful lot of trying of different things but I think I figured out what it is and that, and that thing is um, the wiring harness. So this is what um, feeds electrical current to the starter, um, also uh, moves current or electricity from the alternator, um, picks up readings from a couple of sensors, uh, so important piece of gear and apparently after a while um, these things will wear out. I'm going to take the old one off, going to put the new one on and hopefully that will solve the problem. Gonna move some things around, get organized, open up the engine compartment, and yeah, start wrenching. So let's have some fun. access to the engine compartment right here. The other access is through the companionway stairs. All right. So for a nearly 30 year old engine, I actually think that she's in really good shape. totally forgot to mention that it's going to be a scorcher today so one of the first things um, before I do anything inside the boat is I get comfortable and that means changing clothes okay this is way better and we are ready to go to work so the wiring harness connects here basically this is the wiring harness yeah let's go ahead and dig out the tools this is the wiring harness down here and this is where it goes to the, to the ignition switch uh, and a few other things. So, um, um, so it's not particularly complicated. And so this is what a new one of these things looks like. Uh, one's about $200, which is kind of expensive for a bunch of wires, but let's get this thing open and get it out of the package and see what a new wiring harness smells like. All right, so I'm gonna have a number of contact points here. So I'm gonna wanna clean the connections, sand them down a little bit, make sure there's a nice, good uh, connection there. So the way the whole thing is gonna fit in here, these guys 
All right, so I, did I don't think this guy gets used at all uh, for some reason on my engine. I think it's because I've got a 2GM20. Um, uh, and I think the F model has an additional sensor or something on here for this. I'm not really sure. But anyway, on the current harness, this guy's just hanging down. So not going to use this guy. These guys go directly onto the alternator, as does this guy right here. And they go onto the alternator in these spots where you can't really see it, but like here, here, and down here. So this is going to be the easiest one. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this guy right here, which secures um, the whole harness to the engine mount uh, and provides a ground. So uh, let's start with that. So this is going to be a little bit of a weird angle, but basically these guys, you just pull out um, and disconnect them. There's one. And then there's the other one. And I'm just going to go ahead and connect these guys and then work my way forward from the engine mount to all the different connection spots. So let's see where this one goes first. Yep, that's got it. And then we'll do the second one. And he goes in like this. All right, he's in. And he's in. And I think these guys are good to go. So I'm going to go in here first, remove the old harness piece, which is in the way here, in lieu of the new harness piece, and make sure that I don't miss anything. So here's this. This guy's out of the way. And I should have a ground from the old harness. And that is this guy right here. This ground that is coming off of something else it goes on there as well. So all these bad boys uh, should get, get reconnected here. Now I'd love to get a wire brush on here, but I don't actually, I think I may have one here. Okay, so I found a wire brush and I will use that just to kind of clean off this engine mat a little bit. Make sure there's a nice good connection. And now I'll clean the contacts as well, just a little bit, give them a quick brush. There's one, there's two, and here is three, and then of course we've got to do the other side. All right, so there we go. So those contacts are clean. I can't forget this guy that holds the harness. All right, so now that's done. I'll bend this guy back on. Got all these guys in. Okay, that should do it. And we're in. Alright, so now I just gotta tighten this bad boy down. And we should be good to go. Alright, so now the main harness is on. Um, this guy, not sure what he was for, but wasn't used on the old harness either. Probably another sensor, another function that a newer Yanmar motor has. Um, all right, so let's move on to the next thing, which is this guy right here. All right, these two wires right here. So we'll get these guys put on here, and just gotta make sure I get the right colors on here. These guys are color coded. The old ones, unfortunately, don't appear to be, so that should be interesting. Okay, so I pulled them off, and um, the top one, which is, I guess, this one right here is the blue, and the bottom one should be the orange. And you know what? I'm going to brush that off a little bit as well, just to make sure there's a good contact. Let's get this guy here. All right, so top one blue, bottom one orange. So here's the orange. Let's get that guy on there. All right, he's on. And now this guy. He's on there, so that was easy. And let's continue to work our way forwards on the harness. 
so it would seem that the next thing um, is going to be um, two connections to the starter motor. Now the starter motor is this little round guy underneath um, the air intake and uh, it's the battery um, cable to positive is right here and underneath there are two wires that come out of the harness like a double paired wire comes out of the harness and a smaller wire underneath which I assume is the ground but I'm not sure so uh, let's get that guy off I know this one is going to be easy this guy uh, we'll find out all right so there's one so what I'm probably going to do is um, I'm going to take the other one off first before I put this one on. And the only reason I'm going to do that is because it's hard enough to get down there as it is, um, even with these wires off. With this with this guy back on, um, that might be next to impossible. So let's see what this guy is. This guy right here with the with the cover goes on the bottom part right here. So I have to get to get in there. I'm going to have to get a feels like a. Phillips head screwdriver. Not sure why they did that to me, but okay, let's get that give that a go. So from a slightly different angle, um, this is the guy that I've got to get off, and I'm not sure I'm going to have a short enough screwdriver to get in there. So I just got to get this guy, this guy off, and this guy on. So, hmm. well, I think I actually have it now. Something that might get me in there. Let's give it a try. Possibly. Yeah, that did it. There we go. Alright, so now I got this guy off. That's the bottom part, or the bottom wire, bottom connection to the starter motor. So let's give that guy a brush. Okay, so the new wire off the new harness would be, let's see, this is the top and the bottom is the guy right next to him. That would be this guy. So this guy goes where the other guy was. So he goes on here like this and there we are. There we go. It's got that guy, so let's get him back in and on nice and tight. And then all we have to do is connect the alternator and the sensors. Let's cover this guy up with this nice little cover. <sighs> Gotta say, I'm getting excited here. All right, so that guy's connected. So now we're gonna connect the top part, which is the, the positive to the starter motor. And that's just this guy here. Um, yeah, and the battery cable. So let's get battery cable underneath. We'll get this guy on top. Ah, we want to give that guy a brush as well. Definitely want to give that guy a brush. So these terminals, if you keep them corrosion free, it makes such a huge difference. And see, he's nice and shiny. It doesn't take much effort at all. Okay. And then this guy's brand new, so we don't need to do him, but we should do the screw a little bit. Go. Let's get these guys hooked up. Battery, this guy, and then washer, and the nut. There's that guy, and then this guy. He's nice and tight and clean now, so that's good. Now we've got the last little mess, which are these guys. And so the big ones, there's three connections onto the alternator. There's this uh, plug-like thing, which is right here, which is of course this one, there's no mistaking this guy. Um, and then there are these two guys right here and right here. And then the other two guys, or the, I mean, sorry, the other three guys hanging off, one doesn't get used on my engine, and two are for sensors. And those would be really easy 
um, for us to do once we get the other stuff hooked up. Now, the only question I've got is which is which? So we've got red and we've got black. So we've got to make sure that we get red and black in the right place. Red appears to be uh, this one, red, and black appears to be this one back here. So this is red. Yep, and this is black. And again, not a lot of room. I could and probably will take off the air intake cover. That should make things a bit easier for me. Yeah, that gives me a little bit more room to work. Let me just get the other clamp off there. Yeah, so when we take this guy off, you actually can move your hands. Now you gotta make sure that you don't get anything in there because you definitely don't want anything to get sucked in. So I'll... Okay, so now... There we go, that actually came off really easy. So unfortunately I've run out of memory on my memory card on the Handycam, uh, so I'm doing this with the iPhone. But I've gone ahead and I've gotten the positive and negative uh, connected to the alternator. So the only thing I've got to do now is disconnect this guy down here, uh, which I think is just like a voltmeter. Um, and uh, yeah, and then we'll move on to the last step, which is the two sensors that I need to connect. I think uh, so we'll, uh, we'll do that uh, next. The alternator is all connected, the positive, and back here, the negative. And then I think this guy right here, which is voltage, this guy right here, there we go. And now I only have a couple more things to do. Um, there's this guy right here. And then there's another one hanging off the front someplace down at the bottom of the engine down here. The two sensors are actually just secured with a um, Phillips head screw. So all we gotta do is loosen that bad boy clean him off and put the new one in. So it's the white and blue wires on the top and the white and the yellow wire is down here. Where are we here? Somewhere down here, yeah, down here on the bottom. This is a white and yellow wire. Okay, that is the last connection on there. I've got the old wiring harness completely removed. Ugly looking beast. Now we're going to, um, yeah, we're gonna see if we can fire up the engine. I really couldn't be more pleased with how um, how that work went. Uh, the engine fired up easier than she's ever fired up and I've had the boat for 16 years. Definitely money well spent. I uh, definitely think um, that uh, engines not starting uh, out in the middle of nowhere is, well, hopefully, knock on wood, there's plenty of it all over the place. Um, that's a thing of the past. So yeah, actually the- A little update since shooting this video. I've not had any trouble starting the engine on my boat since replacing the wiring harness. Even cold starts after being away for quite a while. If you've had trouble starting your marine diesel and you've exhausted the obvious things like the fuel and the fuel filters, you might want to check your wiring harness. It did the trick for me. Join us next time on Salty Doug Sailing for something a bit unusual as we document the efforts of a marine biologist as she works to save the sea turtle population in southwest Florida. Until then, stay salty.